Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetech4teachers.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use ThingLink to create a map-based review activity. So let's go ahead and get started here, and I'm going to create a new ThingLink image. I'm going to upload this image I have of an outline of the New England states. Now let's give my image a title. Let's call it New England States Review. Let's go ahead and click on the map now. And I have the question mark icon set. You can choose different icons if you like. But I'm going to use the question mark. I'm going to put in this question for my students. What is the capital of this state? And we can see over here, when students hover over that question mark icon, they'll now see the question itself. Let's add another one down here. We'll repeat the process, and we'll just say, what is the capital of this state? So now I have two questions in here. Let's go ahead and save this image. Now you'll notice I'm in a ThingLink teacher account, which gives me some neat options, including the ability to monitor my students' accounts and see when they have remixed an image. So I'm going to go ahead and say add this to a channel. And I have a channel called Richard Burns Students, and I'll add that. And all my students can now go in and grab this and create a remix of the image in which they make their own copy and perhaps answer the questions that I've put out for them. We can also just share this image by clicking the share button, grabbing the embed code and putting it into a classroom blog or website. You can also share it on Edmodo or any number of social media platforms. So that's an easy way to create a simple map-based review activity using ThingLink. And for more tips and tricks like this, check out freetechforteachers.com.